IHWA Premier League is proudly brought to you by Shatterguard.com.au Front Row Screens, your local streaming superheroes. And CD Dog, Scrap Metal Recyclers. The Flyers Blue have got the first spot in the grand final series. Who will nab up the second? Is it going to be the Flyers Orange or will it be the Northern Vikings that will join the reigning champions for the big best of three series starting next week? Welcome back to the Perth Ice Arena. Paul Persick with you in the commentary box for the second semi-final between the Flyers Orange, who finished in second place with a record of 10, 5 and 3 from their 18 games up against the Vikings, who had a record of 6, 7 and 5 from their 18 games. Last week, the Flyers Orange, they looked impressive in the last period, going goal for goal and put out the Blackhawks with a strong 6-4 win with, the Yana, with another Yannick Lodge match-winning hat-trick making the difference. The Vikings, they finished off the season disappointingly with two losses in the last three games. The other result being a tie against the reigning champions, 3 all after coming from 3-1 up to tie that one. And the last game, of course, being a shocker against the Sharks, 7-5 last Friday night. They played catch-up all throughout the night, leaking two power play goals and falling behind 4-1 after the first period. So with this semi-final being do or die, a victory is the only option for the Vikings, and it certainly is for the Flyers Orange, who have got uh, Blake George and Kieran Webster and Dave Wright back in the side after sitting out last week, but they've got, they've got no Alistair Punler, their regular captain, who is out with an injury. And should they win, it'll be likely that he will return for the grand final series opener next Friday night. We'll keep you up to date on that front throughout the week. For the Flyers Orange, it'll be Lyndon Lodge, number 28, that will be back in the captaincy for this game. An important one for both sides indeed. For the Flyers Orange, it is going to be all-out attack tonight. And that's where they get most of the movement when they take the puck in the middle of the centre ice zone. McLean and the Kelly boys, they were damaging inside the centre last week defeating the Blackhawks. And for the Vikings, they have to get their discipline in order and have to immediately. It's their necessity. It has to be their necessity in finals. They conceded so many costly penalties in their last two games, and it cannot happen again. Sean Cookson, he's really got to address those issues to his players tonight. And they've got to keep his players in order in this knockout final. They've also got to get that greater traffic into that slot. Get McDonald and Sedenko further back to the crease and force the Flyers' attack push behind the goal line. You can't give them any easy opportunities, especially when you've got the likes of Webster, uh, Georgia, and also Tanner and Langel flooding in that attacking slot to those easy chances towards goal. And especially when this game is a big semi-final, a knockout semi-final, the pressure is certainly on both sides to really perform because it is only one run and done semi-final game and performing on the big stage is always going to be a necessity for these sides. Flyers Orange, they finished off the season very well. The Vikings, they've come off a disappointing end of the regular season, losing two of their last three games, including a tie against the Flyers Blues last Sunday week here at the Perth Ice Arena. So it is all or nothing for both sides. And as always, the CD Dodd Perth Premier League is all thanks to our great friends at uh, Shutterguard. Of course, our PowerPlay supporters, our title sponsors, CD Dodd Scrap Metal Recyclers. We thank them for coming on board as well. And also our media partners for season 2021. Front row screens, FRS Sport, your number one in 2021. Not only the best in the business with the LED screens at their big events, but also streaming the best local sport in the best state in the country. Western Australia. And if you're only just heading home from the preliminary final in the AFL or just hot off the heels of it and need uh, another nice little appetizer just to calm you down, well, we've got some Perth Premier League ice hockey action for you on this Friday night. If you missed our first semi final, you can still tune in anytime, any place, anywhere on Facebook and YouTube. But here, live coverage of this second semi final between the Flyers Orange and the Northern Vikings. We certainly hope you can stay with us for the next couple of hours of action see who will join the reigning champs, the Flyers Blue, in the grand final series. Michaela Fellows leading the Flyers Orange. Sean Cookson leading the Vikings as the players break from their huddles and get themselves set for this crunch time semi-final. Again, we thank you for joining us live on Front Row Screen Sport, your number one in 2021. 
Looks like it's going to be Dave Ruck starting things off. And for the Flyers Orange, it'll be Sean Hamilton. The puck is about to be dropped. Who will join the Blues in the grand final as we get underway? And the Flyers Orange have that first entry. Smith fires it straight to the attacking slot. But instantly recovering that one is Peef up. And straight away, the Vikings fire it out of the defensive zone. They're going to be looking for Levesque. They go into the slot. No, he doesn't get it. He came in from Hamilton. Hamilton fires it off to Captain Kudler, who's back in the side this week. Referee's got the hand up. That will signal a penalty. And luckily, that will be waved off. Bandage will be conceded. Levesque plays it with the left hand. McDonald, he's needing a big performance after last week. It's inside the slot. The Flyers Orange emerge with it only momentarily. Piefer. It's back. McDonald in midair. Levesque and Smith inside the slot. But the big defender, Jamie Campbell, he fires it back for the Flyers Orange onto Jacob Ruck. Cross ice McLean linking up with Ruck. Goes to McLean. Has open space. And uh, just like a wedge into the green, that one goes into the net above the ice. And we'll have ourselves a face off. Flyers Orange finished the season, as I said, very strongly in second place on the ladder. Just a win behind the Flyers Blue. After winning their last couple of games, the Vikings needing a win to keep their season back on track. Lodge goes inside, and Langell goes for it. No, he didn't get it. Thought he had it for a moment there, Riley Langell, inside the slot. But to no avail. As we go to the replay, that's the first real big chance of this game. Out of the face-off, Webster, nice push to the side. Long wrist shot by Lodge, fired into the slot. Webster and Langell scrambling hard inside the crease, but to no avail. Saved at the last moment by Corey Booten. Vikings in a scramble for it. Now a couple of players, one of them is Carrius and Lou. They fire it up for the Vikings. Carrius plays it back to Natman. And look how Webster is pushing forward, enforcing the pressure. Zdenko. Zdenko looking to fire it to his teammate in Knapman. Langell plays it off the boards. Fired up by Webster inside the slot, but to no avail. And now the Vikings through Tobin and Carrius can rescue themselves out of this congestion. Langell puts Carrius under pressure, fires it off. Slap shot from Lodge, but well wide of the left post. It goes back up to Lodge, but he had a chip in there. Off the end boards. Webster. On the right point. He has Lodge. Goes inside, but not getting any chance of that one was Yannick Lodge. Both the Lodge boys in the side for this second semi-final. Inside the first three minutes. No goals have been added on the CD Dodd scoreboard. Natman has a chance. Breaks into that attacking, attacking zone, but stopped in his tracks by Langell. He fires it off to Yannick Lodge with space on the edge. Push behind the goal line. That's great defending by the Vikings. But they've got to capitalise on their chances. Holman. Blind pass again by Holman. He's had a couple of those early. Holman onto Lodge. Hoists it back up. Sudenko. Trying to get that puck out of that defensive zone. Jackson. Going cross ice, but only as far as Campbell. He fires it up. Inside the slot, in comes a teammate in Kelly. And Kelly opens the scoring for the Flyers Orange. That's the start that they wanted. Ben Kelly on the right-hand edge of the slot as we go to the CD Dodd replay. The puck coming out from the slot. Campbell from left point reeling that one in. In came Kelly with the exposed space in the crease and tips that one into the back of the net and gets the opening, the opening goal for the semi-finalists of last year. I know they're wanting to go one better after capitulating in the semi-final last year against the Blackhawks, but they've started off strongly. They lead 1-0 inside the first four minutes of this second semi-final on the CD Dodd scoreboard. We're glad you can join us live on Front Row Screen Sport, your number one in 2021. All part of another massive weekend, finals weekend here in Western Australia. Captain Kudler. Had a mixed record since being appointed as captain. Behind the goal line, Smith to Campbell. 
And it's hoisted way out there over the glass and out of the playing area. It'll be a face-off. Be a face-off just on the outer circle here. In fact, it's going to be by the baseline of the attacking zone. Be Hamilton and Ruck. Hamilton wins it out, pushes back onto centre ice. Pifa gets it from Kudla. From way out yonder, easy save for McCann off the pads. Now the Vikings, they have themselves their best chance. Squandered out of that one by Ruck. And it goes over the glass again. The referee has called an infraction for that as well. one nil. Score on the CD Dodd scoreboard. Ben Kelly being the first... Goal scorer for this match. Inside the first four minutes of that first period. We've now played six. Hamilton again winning another face-off, but he's convert on those chances. McDonald bypassed Kudla. Force back to right point. Going to play direct to Hamilton. Hamilton goes out to McDonald, and McDonald scores. Well, that's a quick response the Vikings wanted. They needed to take their chances. Inside the slot, and they did that through McDonald as we take it to the CD Dodd replay. Look at how patient Kudler was on right point, looking for the option out in the open. And there you see Hamilton, quick fire pass into the slot, and a nice easy tip in for McDonald there on the right hand side of the doorstep. And with the open door, it went to the back of the net, and McDonald levels, levels things up for the Vikings. One all in this second semi final. From the middle. Holman storms through defensive zone with the puck. Fires it off to Natman. But Sedenko is able to mop up. Flies Orange starting to push back. Campbell almost losing it. Goes to Langel and again it goes over the barrier. And it will be another face-off. A lot tighter in terms of how the game has played out thus far. Both sides scoring each. Kelly and McDonald, the goal scorers so far, as the puck is won by the Vikings out of that face-off. It comes from Kudler to Holman. And there they're going cross-ice to Natman. A bit hesitant there. That's going to allow Lodge to sweep in and score! What a fine solo effort, Yannick Lodge. Capitalised on the turnover. Great for checking defensively. And followed it up with a fine wrist shot towards the net. And that gives the Flyers Orange back the lead as we go to the CD Dodd replay. Natman. Just mishandled that one, and then Yannick Lodge capitalising on the turnover and goes wham, bam, thank you, man. That's a great goal by Yannick Lodge and his team giving out high fives on the bench. Well-deserved, too. And last year's semi-finalists have a 2-1 lead with 12 minutes to go on the CD Dodd scoreboard. We're glad you could join us on this Friday night, the second semi-final. The winner to go through to the grand final series against the Flyers Blue, who won earlier tonight. 6-1 over the Sharks. Kudla. Webster. Nice turnover on the defensive zone. Almost a blind pass, but Lodge recycled. McDonald keeps it in front. Very well done. Lodge fakes the slap shot, comes out to Webster. Just out of Webster's reach there. Langel behind the goal line up against Kudla. Webster, under pressure from Pifa. Good checking by Pifa. Webster goes down. Lodge providing some backup off the pads of Booten. Webster. Forced to right point. That shot from way out yonder. The Vikings looking for a chance here. Here's Levesque. And referee's ruling an offside. Lucky break for the Flyers Orange considering the position they were in. So it'll be a face-off again by the baseline. As we are approaching halfway of the second period. Oh, the first period, rather. Face-off won by the Orange. It comes to Potvin. He rebounds it off the boards, but it's fired back onto the defensive goal line. Lodge. Oh, watch out. A Flyers Orange player. That was Smith because he got bowled over by Hamilton, but he flicked it out to Lyndon Lodge. 
Goes past one, goes past two. Nice backhander to Tortoise. Couldn't fire that one into the net. That was good defending. Natman frontal check on a Flyers orange player. And Linden Lodge also got it. And they rebound from the defensive zone. Tanner onto Georgia. And they're on again, the Vikings, inside that defensive zone. But they need another equaliser. Jackson from way out yonder. Almost bobbled out of McCann's hands into the net. But great presence of mind by McCann to get that one back right away. Face off on the inner circle. The Vikings attacking zone. Nine and a half minutes to go. On the CD Dodd scoreboard. Campbell tries to hoist it out of that defensive zone. A ricochet off Sedenko. Rebounds it to Carrius from behind the goal line. And now they play it wide. Pifa from right point. Smith had a rare mistake. Carrius from the corner. Nice checking from Campbell, but it comes to Sedenko. Hoisted a high to the outer side. McLean storming through. Rebounds for Campbell. Blind pass turned over. Sedenko. Not a lot of targets presenting forward. Campbell. Lovely cross ice pass to Ruck. Linking up with McLean. He gets checked by Captain Kudla. And into the barriers. Ruck. Leads it through with the backhand. The Ruck boys doing plenty of damage. McLean in the centre of the slot. Ruck and McLean go down. And so does a, a Vikings player. Going back and forth with the puck of both teams. And the referee calling another offside. That's three of them in the early going in this game. But at the moment, no power plays as a result. The face-off will be on the outer dot of the baseline there. The Flyers Orange leading 2-1 against the Vikings in this second semi-final. Lodge. Goes for the cross-ice pass. Ricochet off Webster. That could be a costly mistake. Levesque looking to rebound, but it was turned over. They eventually get it out in the open. Langel loses out in that battle to Cooper. Cooper mans it behind the goal line. What's he going to present himself with? He goes to Captain Kudler. Fires it out to McDonald. He had space in front. Blind pass from McDonald back onto the outer slot. Turned over by Langel. We can find Webster. He goes for it off the gloves of Booten. Lodge. Webster gets it back. He went cross ice to Langel, looking for an easy chance, but to no avail. The Vikings are away. Here comes Hamilton. Hamilton, will he go cross ice? No, off the post. Hamilton. Gentle backhand to McDonald. Opportunity for McDonald. He presents it to Cairo, uh, to uh, Kudler. Captain Kudler goes for it. Nowhere near the pack. Lodge. Breaks out. Long one from way out yonder, but an easy pad save by Booten. And they're away. Only momentarily, Smith, the rookie, didn't get all of it with that slap shot. Great control by Pifa. On to Jackson. Covering the slot well. Cross ice to Spencer. Wise Orange again. Their defensive aggression proving very strong at the moment. Campbell's pass. Another cherry picker of Langel. Ambitious Booten. Exposing the goals. He goes for it immediately, does Tortoise. But Booten getting... Back onto that goal crease just in time to save his team's bacon. Jackson. Oh, we missed that one. That's a mishandle for him. That's an error. Tortoise. Cross ice into the slot, but it was heavily covered by a couple of Vikings players. Ruck inside the slot over the crossbar from point blank. The Vikings again with another defensive turnover. Open ice pass towards the defensive zone. McCann fires it off, and the referee caught an obstruction as well. That was well before McCann had got that one inside the goal crease. And it'll be a face-off on the outer circle. The Vikings attacking zone as a result. With Dave Ruck starting things off in this face-off with uh, Sedenko. Sedenko wins that. Here comes Lodge with the speed in that defensive zone. And that's Ruck. Solid turnover. He's on the breakout. 
from the edge. He shoots. McLean looking for the tipping inside. Doesn't get it. Campbell barges his way in. And again, they push it forward, but not to the net. Natman, great vision. Plays it off to a teammate there. Here comes a player. Incidenko, he shoots. And down low, McCann with the save. That was possibly their best chance so far in this game. But McCann dives in low and makes a great save. Be a face off this time on the inner circle of the attacking zone. Webster and Hamilton. Webster wins it. And the Flyers Orange find space. Lodge. Oh, he almost got cut off by Pifa, but he stopped right at the last moment. Put the brakes on and kept control of the puck. And now it's turned over. It comes to Kudlup. Plays it wide. Pifa. Hamilton. And now again, they got space for McDonald. Force behind the line. McDonald tries to go into the heavily protected slot. Guarded by Webster and Lodge. And Webster on the break with four minutes to go on the CD Dodd score. But it's a 2-1 lead to the Flyers' orange. Lodge goes to the high point. Transfers the puck behind the goal line. But chopped off by Natman. Great rookie season he's having with the Vikings. Off to McDonald. Pushing forward onto the defensive zone. He's under pressure. Turned over. Webster from the inside doesn't get it. And a player losing his stick in the process. Hamilton. Clever backhander. On a McDonald from way out yonder. McCann off the pads. Watch out Webster because here comes Hamilton. But Webster keeps his cool very well done there. Webster plays it wide. Cross ice back onto the centre. Lodge. Open ice pass towards the goal line. And coming up to meet it now is Cooper. Angel and Spencer. Spencer fires it back to Cooper. It's deep in the slot. The Vikings in tremendous pressure now. Natman fires it to Jackson. Cross ice pass. Blind. Turned over. Georgia chopped out of it. Here comes Spencer. Behind the goal line, off the boards. Holman inside, Jackson in the slot. Couldn't get that one to go. Here's Cooper. From the edge, Cooper shoots. Wide of the left post. Kelly fires it gently to Tanner. Well done by Tanner, preparing himself for that check. With a one hand up, he goes across the rink. Finding Georgia. Booten leaving the crease exposed, always risky. Referee's got the hand up. And the referee will blow the whistle. That is against the Flyers Orange there. For an infraction. And by the looks of things, yes, it'll be penalty box time for one of the players. And that is Georgia. Only making his return. No, it's Kelly, rather. It'll be Ben Kelly, who scored that first goal with less than two. Interference. For interference with two minutes to go. And Kelly will spend the rest of the opening period inside the box. So the Vikings will have a chance to equalise with a 5-on-4 advantage. And that power play, of course, as always, thanks to our great friends at Shutterguard. Levesque linking up with Pifa. Kudla. Out wide. He can fire it straight down. McDonald. Back to Captain Kudla. He's got McDonald in range, but they lose it. Ruck. On the breakout, will he go cross ice to Ruck? They do plenty of damage. He does, but Ruck just had a little fresh area there. Campbell. Campbell's blind pass. He was forced into it by Hamilton. He shoots, but what a great save, McCann. Hamilton playing a little bit of tricky games there with uh, Campbell. And uh, Campbell just got sucked into it. But uh, luckily, for the Flyers' orange sake, Hamilton did not score that goal. But they still have a chance with about... 40 seconds left on the game clock for the end of the first period. We'll still finish up with a five-on-four situation as the Flyers Orange make changes on the fly. You've got to be careful here. Hamilton on to Kudla. Kudla shoots. Ricochet off a couple of players. 
20 seconds to go with Cooper playing the puck on centre ice. Now he breaks free. Kudla. Forcing it wide onto Tobin. Back to Kudla. He shoots. Ricochet off Tanner. And we're entering the last seconds of the opening period. Two open ice on the defensive zone. The buzzer will go. And just like that first period in the last game earlier, the scoreboard is 2-1. And the Flyers Orange, they lead it over the Northern Vikings at the end of the first 20 minutes here at the Perth Ice Arena. The second semi-final. The first 30 seconds, keep in mind, at the second will start five on four. Can the Vikings make the most of that 30-second situation or will the Flyers Orange maintain their momentum? Back with more after this. Shatterguard has been installing Perth's best shutters for over 30 years. With no advertising signs on your front lawn and no sales gimmicks, visit shutterguard.com.au. Back to the Perth Ice Arena, second semi-final in full swing, and at the end of one, it is the Flyers Orange leading 2-1. As we go to the CD dot highlights for what was, again, a very even Stevens opening period. The first 10 minutes did belong to the Flyers Orange, and they used the puck better. They tightened up on their passing in the later five minutes of that opening period, and there, another big chance. Webs up, and then out the back. Langell thought he had had it but it was waved off. And as you see here, Campbell firing on all cylinders and then Kelly with the right-hand side of the doorstep exposed, tipping that one into the back of the net for the Flyers Orange first. And then a second one came in for the Flyers Orange in magnificent fashion. It's by Jacob Ruck. The Vikings, they're just not using the puck well enough in that defensive zone. More often than not, when they're moving it out of their defense, and it's often conceded turnovers. And that's allowed the Flyers Orange to make those quick entries inside the slot. And it certainly would make you pay the price if you make too many mistakes against this Flyers Orange side, who are really like the Flyers Blue in that mold. They play a lot of great attack. They don't play a lot of defense as good as their attack. We're about to get the second period underway with the Flyers Orange leading 2-1. We're glad you can join us here on Front Row Screen Sport. It'll be Ruck and Kudler to start things off. Uh, Hamilton, rather, to start things off. And we're underway. Ruck won the face-off out, but Booten is going to allow his teammate to fire things up from the defensive zone. But also Dave Ruck, he's also sent to the penalty box. So it's 5-on-4 for the first two minutes as a result of what happened at the end of the first period. So the Vikings will have that advantage, but referees put a stop to it. Offside. Face off by the baseline. Inside the first few seconds of this second period where Ruck and Hamilton will again, and Hamilton will again stare each other down. Kudler plays it along the end boards, but only as far as Smith for the Flyers Orange. Smith plays it wide on the wing, but it comes back to Kudler. He shoots. McCann on the second attempt. Nice solid save inside the crease. And we'll have a repeat in proceedings. Well, 
Why is Orange leading 2-1? If you're just joining us, Ruck and Kelly. Scoring the goals for the Flyers Orange and then lone one for the Vikings was McDonald in that first period. The Flyers Orange have all the momentum at the moment. Their way as they need to be. When a spot in the grand final is at stake. Hopes it plays it out to McLean. And the Flyers Orange are on the breakout now. Lodge behind the goal line. Booten leaving the crease exposed. Always very risky. He's done that twice already. Luckily not to concede a goal as a result of it. Webster. Well, got a little bit of shoulder in on Kudla. On to Lodge inside the slot. Couldn't get all of that one in. And easily fended off by Booten. Webster. Out wide. The penalty's been killed off. In the meantime. And so it's back to five on five. McDonald. McCann pushing forward inside the crease. Does he go cross ice to Hamilton? He does, but loses it. Another turnover made by the Orange. Lodge sidesteps, but Kudla read it well. Chops him off. But Lodge gets it back. Goes cross ice to Georgia, but the freeze put a stop to that attack. It's another ruling. Another offside, and it'll be at the baseline for this faceoff. We said Denko this time, starting things off with Tanner. By the baseline as Tanner wins it out. Smith. Smith went cross ice, was intended for Campbell, but Natman and Tortoise were the targets. Natman won it. Playing it towards the defensive zone. Carrius. Forcing the players wide. We'll go on to Natman. Natman again just missing that one. He's had a couple of those in the second period. And as a result, the Flyers Orange again gaining great traffic inside the slot, and turning it over from the defensive zone. Pass intended for Georgia. But well played in the end there by the Vikings defence to recover this one. Natman goes forward. Campbell almost checked. Head high, but the referees say get on with it. It's played off the boards by Tortoise. Booten. Booten riding the check there from Natman. Cleared out of that defensive zone. Ruck will bring it back. Plays it to the inner wing. Tortoise. And now they're going cross ice to Campbell to open up some space on the offensive zone. Ruck. Outside the house. Went through a couple of players. Carrius recovers it. But watch out. Here comes Lodge. Played off the boards. And the Vikings have another chance. Do they go cross ice to Sedenko? No. The shot comes in. Ricochet off the stick of Ruck. Campbell again. Plays it to the centre. McLean bypassed. Kudla rebounds and plays it wide. Natman. Natman got a little hesitant. Turned over. McLean blind pass. And Kudla gets on the end of it. Kudla on the defensive zone. He's going to play it steadily. And he's going to link up with a teammate in Holman. He gets it back from Holman. But LaForce back. Two on one for the Flyers Orange. Holman. They're getting desperate here for a leveler. They're not really making that attack convert on all their chances. Ruck is able to recycle those turnovers left, right and centre and get them back into their attacking zone. But an icing call has been made in the meantime. And this will give the Vikings a chance to assess how they attack the slot in this next face-off and how they could have a chance in equalising this game. It's still 2-1. Just six minutes played on the CD Dodd scoreboard. We're glad you can join us here on Front Row Screen Sport. You're number one in 2021. Spencer off the face off. It comes to Ruck. Here comes a teammate in Jackson. Jackson inside the slot. And again down low. Was saved by McCann. And we'll have a repeat in proceedings now. And in the meantime, I'd like you to turn up the volume, sit back and soak in all the sights and sounds of the second semi-final of the CD Dodd Perth Premier League right here on Front Row Screen Sport.
Sights and sounds of the CD9 PPL as Langel penetrating the slot, but got, but got chopped off at the end by McDonald. McDonald with another good defensive effort, but it's still in the slot. It comes to Langel and inside the crease, Booten. Good last ditch save there. Stop the Flyers' own from sending further on the scoreboard. It is 2 1 on the CD Dodd scoreboard if you're just joining us for the first time. The second semi final live on front row screen sport. Your number one in 2021. The Vikings clear out again. Levesque. Levesque fakes the slap shot, but it was well read by Campbell, the big defender. And as a result, the Flyers own to able to enforce the error on the Vikings and turn it over. Lodge onto Webster. Off the gloves of Booten. Lodge pushes forward again. It comes to Smith inside. It ricochet off Webster. Again, no goal. Webster opens it up further. Lodge. Oh, well, not an even third time lucky. The Vikings need to guard that slot even tougher. They've got three around it. There's still some space. Lodge. Again fires it up again, but to no avail. That's four now. Langel barges his way in, but the Vikings still turn it over. Spencer on to Hamilton. Lovely cross-ice pass on to McDonald. Gaining some much-needed territory. He's under pressure from Langel. Levesque providing some backup, but he gets cornered in the end there by Lodge. McDonald and Webster. Well done by Webster to get that one back. Langel. Flares it up, but just lost it there to Natman. And it comes out to Cooper. Hamilton. Hamilton goes past two. Does he go for the cross-ice pass? No, he plays it to the end boards. Potman. He's had limited minutes in the last couple of games at this stage. Flies Orange again emerging with it. Off the defensive turnover. Tanner. Fires it up towards the crease. Booten again with another good save. And a couple of players exchanging some words. Hamilton, and he's going to, by the looks of things, go into the penalty box. Yes. To number 81, Hamilton for the Vikings is going to the box immediately as a result. And we're focusing on the general play there and that chance by Harry Tanner. Number notes to what was going on away from the park. For Hamilton. He's going to spend two minutes in the penalty box. Another shutter guard power play. And it will again be five on four this time. In favour of the Flyers Orange. Webster out of the face-off. Vikings again playing to open ice, but it's covered by McCann. Lines it off to Campbell. Webster. Big get here has been for the Flyers Orange this season. Ruck threads his way through the space. Ruck looking for the cross ice pass to Tanner. Push back. Webster on the Campbell. He goes back to Webster. He fires it. Ricochet off lane, Jewel Buck. It went onto the net above, and we'll have ourselves a face off while the time clock continues to run. Face off will be in proceedings. And it's going to be by the baseline. There was an earlier call for an infraction. Tanner wins the face-off. And they play it wide. The Flyers Orange looking to open things up from centre ice. Webster fires it back. It's tempting the Vikings to push forward. Lodge. The Lodge boys linking up on the high point. And now Lodge. And Ruck. Jacob Ruck just manning it steadily now, given that they do have that advantage of the extra man. Tanner, up close, but couldn't get to the net. Langel and Ruck. Tanner, they're increasing the pace now. Here's Jacob Ruck over the crossbar. Webster. Oh, Webster got checked by two Vikings there. Tanner, he was pinned to him. Sedenko plays it off the boards onto Ruck. Nice defensive pressure there, but here comes Langel. He just swooped in like a Sherman tank. Langel. Otto McLean misses that one. But they go to Webster. He's deadly from that position, but... 
Referees put a stop. And Hamilton, he might have released himself from the penalty box a little prematurely there. And he's having to go to the bench as a result. My goodness. That is something you don't see every day. It looks as though Hamilton told to sit. The referee's just deliberating. There's some confusion over this. Delay in the game. Some confusion. It all started with a couple of players exchanging some words, but also Hamilton leaving the penalty box to go out onto the rink, but the referee stopped that. Some confusion going on there, so we got a delay in the game. Now it looks as though action is back underway. It'll be Ruck and Spencer to restart things now. After that delay, the clock stopped at 7.19, but we're back underway. Good luck from the defensive zone. Bypass Jackson and the Flyers Orange again. Pushing their players forward in order to leak out these defensive turnovers left, right and centre. Smith. He's going to play it to the inner wing now. Off the end boards of the goals. Kudler takes it back behind the goal line. He's directly intended by Ruck. But Kudler plays it steadily. On to Spencer can fire it from the corner. He goes deep into the slot. Jackson in there. It's a no avail. Jackson has that second rebound. Jackson, what can he do? Turns it over. Ruck. Plays it direct. Ruck shoots off the pads of boot. Ruck gets checked by three Vikings there. Ruck hoists it up. It's back onto center ice, but look at the cherry picker in Holman. Watch out, Holman. Here comes Smith, but Holman goes into the slot. No, doesn't get it. Way over the crossbar. That was a lucky strike for the Flyers Orange there because that could have been a certain equalizer, which they have been desperately fighting for. But every chance that they miss, the pressure really mounts, but there's an icing call in the meantime. And also, there was a few pleasantries being exchanged from Campbell and also Holman, and as a result, Holman was the one who instigated it, as we were told. And it's going to be Holman in the penalty box as well for the Vikings. So for the third time, there will be a shutter guard power play. Another two minutes up on the clock. We had one at the end of the first, one at the beginning of the second, and then this one now. Ruck and Hamilton. Ruck wins it out again. They've dominated the face-offs. Webster from way out yonder, diving low, is booting. And the referee will stop that one. Another good save in the power play conditions. With five minutes to go on the CD Dodd scoreboard, this second semi-final certainly hasn't been a dull affair. They hadn't had any addition to the first period tally, two goals to one, but both sides have been very desperate for that goal. Ruck wins the face off again. That's a lodge. They can fire it out to an open. Webster shoots. Booten with a good save. Tanner trying to open it up in the slot. It comes out to Lodge. Inside. Lyndon Lodge goes for it. Tanner inside. No. And pushing and shoving going on there. And they come from everywhere. With the referee calming things down. Almost an all in. Natman also settling down there. The referee's just telling them, come on, we don't need that. But good golly, it got heated at first. But luckily not to be an all-in. What's going on here? Hamilton's back in the box again. And the clock will continue to run. So Hamilton is coming back in the box. That's his second. 
visit to the penalty box. And it'll be a five on three in favour of the Flyers Orange for at least 20 seconds. Lodge goes out wide, looking for Ruck, who was out in the open. Lyndon Lodge finds Webster from centre point. They go for it now. Lodge on a Ruck. Ricochet off Kudler. Tanner plays it wide. They've got another 15 seconds to convert off this power play. They haven't done so at all tonight, nor have the Vikings. Webster goes for it from the corner. Lodge didn't get it. And it'll be five on four now. The first of the power plays killed off. Holman's back on. Webster fires it out. Lodge. Down low goes Booten and a good save. And getting a nice little cheer from the crowd at the crossbar on the opposite end. And they've turned on a great atmosphere, possibly the best this season. Over the crossbar. They've got some really good wings as well. And they are awfully good. Another face-off on the inner circle with less than three minutes to go. No additional goals have been added. The Flyers Orange still maintaining a solid 2-1 lead. Campbell out wide. McLean almost with the backhand up at Tanova. Ruck from behind the goal line. He's presenting himself with a chance. Turnover. Levesque. He breaks free. Into the slot. Does he go for it? What a save. McCann. Ha ha. Remarkable save under pressure. And now the Flyers Orange have got a break out of their own going. Ruck with a backhand. But into the path of three Vikings players in the slot. Levesque has got a second chance. Goes way out yonder. And again McCann. Two marvellous saves from Mark McCann. Both off Yon Levesque off, the, Levesque off the cherry picker. My goodness gracious me. We'll take a look at the CD dot replay of the first save. And as you see here, Smith lost the puck. Levesque broke free. And then have a look at this. Off the pads of McCann when Levesque was closing in. Thank you very much, he says. That's got to be one of the saves of the season, dare I say it. Vikings getting even more desperate for an equaliser. A goal near the end would hurt. The Flyers Orange, a goal near the end would be absolutely brilliant, but it is off the net above. And we'll have a face-off in the Flyers Orange attacking zone with about a minute and a half to go. In the second period, and so it'll be all left down to the wire if it remains that way in the final 15 minutes. Face off by the baseline. And the Flyers Orange have first touch of it. McLean tried to go cross ice but was safeguarded by three Vikings inside the last minute of the second stanza. With the Flyers Orange leading 2-1 in this second semi-final. And by the looks of things, it is an icing call. It is. And the clock will continue to run. Face off with Webster and Sedenko. Webster thrusts it forward, but to Natman behind the goal line. Plays it off the boards. Carius was in the right place at the right time. Needs to get himself out of that scramble, but Lodge fires it up. Lodge back to the goal line. Pifa inside the last 10 seconds. Carius on the goal line. There's not going to be any scores, I would think, in those last seconds. Webster. Looking to fire things up. Lodge with one second to go. But that'll do it for the second period. No goals added, but it is a very tight affair in this uh, second semi-final. It is anybody's game here at the Perth Ice Arena to see who will join the Flyers Blue in next week's opening game of the Grand Final Series. We'll be back at the Perth Ice Arena shortly for the final stanza of the semi-finals where it's the Flyers Orange leading 2-1. Shutterguard has been installing Perth's best shutters for over 30 years. With no advertising signs on your front lawn and no sales gimmicks, visit shutterguard.com.au.
Welcome back to the Perth Ice Arena. The final stanza of this second semi-final is not too far away. As it is the Flyers Orange leading 2-1 with no goals being added in the second 20-minute interval. And the CD Dot highlights will show that second period where both sides had plenty of chances in towards the goal. Coming off easy turnovers leading into those breakaways. Levesque had two chances late in that second period, but both were curtailed by some magnificent saves down low from Stephen McCann, from Mark McCann, easing the pressure of the Flyers Orange side that really had cooked a few chances themselves late in the second period. It's still anybody's game in this second semi-final. As the Vikings are by no means out of it, but they also will have to make plenty of chances count. And what is going to be a very tight tussle between two very competitive teams. The Vikings, should they win, my goodness, it'll cap off a fine rise in 12 months because they finished second last last year. And also, could they live up to the fairy tale image and go through to a grand final in season 2021? Anything can happen in the space of 15 minutes as the final period is about to get underway. Webster starting things off with Hamilton. And the final stanza is on. Will it be the Flyers Orange or will it be the Vikings that will join the reigning champs in the grand final series? McDonald blazes through the attacking zone. He has possession of the puck on the goal line. Gets bumped at the back. Here comes Hamilton. Hamilton from the inside. Doesn't get it, but Levesque with that rebound inside. Hamilton goes again. Almost tipped in by McDonald, but to no avail. The Flyers Orange again rebounding from the defensive zone. Lodge with an open ice shot from way out yonder. McDonald now starting off at a ferocious pace here of the Vikings. Campbell loses it. No icing call will be made. The play will go on. Smith fires it off to Campbell. Campbell, beautiful cross-ice pass, goes back to Lodge. But he's pressured into a turnover. Pifa. Langel wins it. Very well done from Langel. He's flair in that defensive zone and in attack. Really proving crucial. Langel fires it from the outside. Goes low, and it's a score! Kelly! Kelly has done it again! He scored in the first, and he has got himself a double in the first minute. Of the last period as we go to the CD dot replay. Langel creating a chance from the right point. Bounce some space off the pads of Booten. In came Kelly yet again. Out the back for the second chance tip in. And increases the lead for the Flyers Orange. That will be a big momentum booster. And the scoreline now 3-1. In favour of the Flyers Orange. That's on the CD dot scoreboard. Hamilton. Not too... Happy about that one. But the referee was in prime position when those goals were scored. The Vikings, they're playing like they are desperate to respond. Can they convert it here? They're getting aggressive at the puck, and they're not out of it. They're linking up on the outer, on the outer attacking wing. Carrius. Cooper fires wide of the right post. They're closing in on that goal crease. Potvin turns it over. Sedenko wide of the left post. Lodge. It's checked out there by Cooper. It comes out to Sedenko. Natman, the rookie, from the outside slot. And just off the pads of McCann. He's had himself a hell of a night. Sedenko. Out wide. Natman back on right point. Sedenko couldn't get a handle on that one. Senko going cross ice, very risky, but Cooper has possession. Cooper goes wide, Carrius, where was he? And Lodge, no icing call will be made. Both sides going to make a few changes on the fly. That's going to allow Natman to break free. His pass, a risky one. McLean was instrumental, so was Natman. It's out to Jackson. Now Holman. And the Vikings slowing it down at the moment now. Spencer and Kudler combining. But they link up with Jackson. Jackson missing that one. And Smith 
The interstate sensation. Tries to feed it forward, but only as far as Kudla. He breaks free. The referee's ruled an offside. Well, an interesting one indeed. And it'll be a face-off by the baseline with 12 minutes to go on the CD Dold scoreboard. 3-1. Flyers Orange lead. And that crucial goal from Kelly may have asserted a little momentum the Flyers Orange way, but I have to say the Vikings are still playing with that desperation, but they haven't got a score on the board. Ruck shoots off the pads of Booten. McLean plays it from behind the goal line. Ruck, the Ruck boys, looking to do some damage again to seal the spot in the grand final. Dave Ruck on the inner wing, plays it outside, bypassing Ruck. Very well done by the Vikings defence to clear it. Here comes Smith, off the net, not the right position. Jackson, flies it out to Pifa. Pifa, he's heavily checked there by the Flyers Orange defence and that was very well done. On to Dave Ruck, does he go cross ice to Jacob? No, he just lost possession of the puck. The Vikings will look to move it out. But McLean plays it back to open ice to allow those changes to be made. Quick rotation. Pifa. Oh, he lost it. Lodge just swoops in. Oh, almost said thank you and good night. A great save off the pads by Booten. And there was a trip up. Referee's got the hand up. And we'll stop the play right there. And that trip up occurring from behind the goal line of the Vikings defensive zone. Booten pulled himself out of the crease momentarily. But he can get back in there. And that penalty is against uh, Yannick Lodge. And so he'll spend a couple of minutes in the penalty box. A power play in effect. And that'll be for the next two minutes. This will be a good chance for the Vikings to get some momentum back their way now. But they have to really convert on those chances. They've had plenty of them. They just haven't converted. Face off being won. McDonald over the crossbar. He had plenty of power on that one. But Lodge, good defensive rebound. He fires it off to Webster. Webster from out wide. He shoots. Up the back goes Langel again. Booten with two good saves. Lyndon Lodge fires, but nobody home. Webster. Nice back check on the board to hit the front of that. Pretty hard indeed. The Vikings, good rebound. That's a clever pass on to McDonald, but he lost it at the last moment. Cooper. Blind pass, turned over by Webster, fakes the slap shot. Forced wide, still in power play conditions, a minute and a half to go. McDonald, going to play it off to a teammate now, what can he do? McDonald thrusts forward, it's behind the goal line. Nice check on Campbell. Keeps his composure too, that was brilliant. Hamilton fires it off to Kudler, inside, Hamilton with a second chance, no. McDonald, what can he do? Mines with a teammate. Almost the tipping by Levesque. That was an easy chance. Webster. Hoists it back up. But Kudler is able to mop it in that center ice zone. But Tanner swipes it off his opponent with the turnover. But Booten making the easy save. And they're going to have to slow things down, the Vikings. They've only got two compared three. Nice pass to settle things for the Vikings. It comes out to Karius. Supported by Sedenko. The penalty almost killed off with nine and a half minutes to go. Hamilton from the corner. Does he go for it? No. He went for it, but he didn't get it. Jackson fires. Off the pads of McCann. Hamilton will get it back from the corner. Off the post. My goodness. Knappman tries to chip that one in. Like a chipping wedge into the green, but no luck there. Four chances. And this will be for their fifth. Sedenko backing up his teammate. The penalty's been killed off. Inside the slot they go. Hamilton from the corner. Did he get it? Hamilton, did he get it? Players go down like nobody's business. Hamilton claiming that he did get it in, but I don't think he did. And it's being waved off. Referee's just getting the post back into position. Plenty of players scrambling for it along the slot. Left, right and centre. Players going down. A massive opportunity 
to get the goal back. But no goal. They did wave it off right away. It was another rock solid save by McCann. And they're just still getting that post into position. So we'll still have a bit of a delay here with eight and a half minutes to go. It seems as though they've got it back into position and all set to go again. Spencer and Webster in this face off. It's Webster that wins out. Buys it out to Lodge and it's gone into the stand. Well, it's not the first time the puck has gone into the stand or even the commentary box. And maybe one lucky fan who's there will claim it as a souvenir. And we'll have a repeat in proceedings now. Even Stevens in this one. No one's able to get it out yet, but Webster does. Swept up by Lodge. But the Vikings are not giving in. Spencer takes it back. Captain Kudla, he's been brilliant. Pifa and Campbell. Campbell's defended well. Watch out for Jackson. Pinned on the boards, Lodge and Jackson. Jackson being backed up by Spencer. Well done by Jackson, but it's chopped off by Campbell and Langell. Langell breaks free. Does he go cross ice? He's forced to the goal line. Great defense by Holman. Langell still got it. Campbell off the pads of Booten. Tanner forced on the goal line again. Two on two. Who's going to win it out? It's going to be the Vikings. Jackson chopped out by Kelly. And there was another offside being called there. And we'll have another face-off by the baseline. Just under eight minutes remaining. On the CD Dodd scoreboard. Three goals to one. In favour of the Flyers, Orange. They've got the advantage, but they just need to settle it. If they are to get a spot in the grand final. And they lead 3-1, but the Vikings have been very desperate indeed. In order to get the equaliser, they just haven't got it to the back of the net. And that's not to take anything away from the Flyers' Orange defence. They too have been magnificent. Here tonight. Getting a lot of cheers from some of the... There are fans, which is always great to hear. Vikings have another chance. McDonald, nice rebound from the offensive zone. Off the pads of McCann and into the path of Smith. From the outer wing. And the Vikings, great stick checking, allowing the turnover to come in. Levesque, slap shot. Ricochet off Tortoise. And he was limping for about a second there. Cross ice into the slot. Cooper, has he held on it? No. Hamilton from the corner, reaching into his bag of tricks. From the corner, couldn't out muscle the defence there. Lodge, lovely hoist pass. Hoist pass. Watch out for Booten. He's leaving the crease exposed. Very ambitious indeed. And a heavy check there. Oh, watch out! The referee got floored, and Kelly floored himself. Goodness gracious me! You don't see that every day. Good thing the ref is okay. And getting right back into the job. And a nice wave too. Hoist it back onto the defensive slot. Sedenko. Changes direction of the play. Fires it up now. It goes back to Sedenko. Another chance here. Sedenko off the pads of McCann again. Levesque. Hoist it to his own advantage. Back on the end boards. The Flyers orange go. McDonald in front. He's pressured by Jacob Ruck. That was rock solid. Six minutes to go in this second semi-final. Still anybody's, dare I say it, but time is of the essence. Flyers Orange with the advantage. And looking more likely as the minutes count down to that spot in the grand final. Could be a dream grand final. And that is going to be against the Vikings in infraction. And a couple of the players not happy with that one. More in particularly, Sedenko. And so that will mean another two-minute penalty. And that is against Sedenko, and a vital two minutes it will be. The Flyers Orange will be looking to seal the issue even further.
He Lodge and Carrius. Lodge won it out. It comes out to Smith. Inside the slot. McLean. Pressured into that one by Kudla. Oh, Holman goes down like a bag of spuds. The Flyers Orange open it up now. Campbell. Slap shot. Nobody home. Campbell has another shot at it. And here comes Lodge in the midst of the power play with a five on four. Into the boards they go. Do the Flyers Orange. Ruck. Turned over. The Vikings moving that one with the open ice pass towards McCann. Campbell. Campbell long pass towards the boards. Slipped forward by the Ruck boys. They've done plenty of damage in defence all across the season. Campbell. Campbell onto Webster. Cross ice pass. It comes to Smith. The interstate rookie. Force wide. Great defence by the Vikings. Putting on the pressure and enforcing the turnover. Kudla. Opens it up now to Natman. But just a little too far back. Kudla. He has Levesque. And that's where he goes. Hoist it towards the net. Off the stick of McCann. Smith. What can he do? He can flick it gently to Webster. Only half a minute to go of this power play before it gets killed off. Flyers Orange have only converted one in the last few games. Vikings, and tonight in particular, haven't converted one. On the outer side. They fire it back to centre point. Lodge. Webster. Oh, he couldn't get the slap shot. Fired up in time. It was locked and loaded, but he didn't fire. Well covered by McCann. You ought to watch out. Because here comes Sedenko just out of the penalty box. And Lyndon Lodge saw his rival coming in. And he had a sharp eye on that one. So very well done by Lyndon Lodge. Inside goes Langel. And Langel scores. And that seals it. Langel with the speed and flair inside the attacking zone. Makes it 4-1. Flies on. And that will see, that, see them go into the grand final, as we see on the replay. Plenty of flair on this one, as we see here. Puck is rebounded. Webster gently allows that one to go to Langel. And with a nice wrist shot, gets his first of the night. With a brief timeout being called. I'm not sure if it'll be used to it, because the Flyers Orange have got virtually an unassailable 4-1 lead. And they are likely to lock up that second spot in the grand final series. The grand final will be contested between the two top teams in the competition from next Friday night in a best of three series. As this 20-second timeout is just about over. For Riley Langel, by the way, that is his 10th goal of the season. And Dave Ruck is on 11. Kieran Webster, he's got the most with 18. And Webster hasn't hit the board, which is also a reminder of the Flyers' orange amazing depth at both ends. They are a formidable unit. No doubt they've made the Flyers' blues stand up and take notice because this will be a grand final for the record books, dare I say it, between the Flyers' blue and the Flyers' orange next week when the best of three series begins. But there's still three and a half minutes of game time here. In this second semi-final, Flyers Orange win it out. It comes to Smith. Flies it towards the goal line, but Booten able to get it out of the crease. Natman, very well done. Natman plays it wide on the Carrius. Gets it back. Oh, Natman again had a moment, had a moment of panic. McLean fires it out to Ruck. Ruck shoots. Inside goes McLean. He couldn't fire it into the net. McLean from out wide and Booten down low makes a good save. With two and three quarter minutes remaining on the CD Dodd scoreboard, and both sides will make some changes. As 
We're about to witness the dying embers of this game, this second semi-final. The Flyers Orange have really turned things on in the last period. They led 2-1 after the first two. And they've turned on two quick goals late in the third to make it a 4-1 lead on the CD Dodd scoreboard. Good luck. Nice 180. Goes behind the goal line. He's got Pifa out in the open. Jackson buys it out. Kudler goes for it. Inside the slot. Pifa could have had a chance to go for it there. And the referee's blown the whistle. And contact with the high stick. As it was deemed by the referee. And that is against that man in Campbell. We'll go to the CD Dodd replay of that. Take a look. You see here, there, inside the goal crease. I must say, though, he got down, did Pifa, about a second or two afterwards, after the contact. So that is an interesting one. But nonetheless, the referee making the decision right on the spot. And Campbell will spend the next couple of minutes in the penalty box. But even that, it will not make a difference to the result. The Flyers' orange cannot be caught. An unassailable 4-1 lead with two and a half minutes remaining in this game. Kudla. Oh, he had a moment there. He had a moment that could prove costly. Langel on to Lodge. Oh, Lodge lost it at the worst moment. And now with the 5-1-4 situation, the Vikings will look to add to their existing sole goal. But not with that turnover. Blind pass led to Langel. Taking possession, Booten pushes forward. Turned over. The Langel pressure has been brilliant tonight. We're just under two minutes to go in this semi final. Lodge hoisted out of that defensive zone. Booten exposing the crease, but he's got some safeguarded space. Good luck. Rise from long range. Levesque getting very ambitious, trying to go for the impossible. And it proves just that. And it'll be a save for McCann again. He's credited with a lot of them tonight. He's kept the Vikings to just one score. Vikings again with another chance. The shot from the centre point from Kudler. And in mid-air, McCann with another magnificent save. He's really earned every penny tonight. Just like Steven in the earlier game. Face-off between Tanner and Hamilton. Again, they take it to Kudler on centre point. Out to McDonald. He shoots. And McDonald. He gets a double. And the Vikings have been long searching for that goal. But dare I say it, it has come too little too late. McDonald has a double, and it's now 4-2 on the CD Dodd scoreboard with just over a minute to go. And we'll go to the CD Dodd replay to see how this one's set up. Kudlup looked to go for the goal himself, but there McDonald had space in front to go for the wrist shot. And it was a marvellous goal. It was indeed for McDonald. And he will finish the season with 12 goals for the Vikings, and a very positive finish for him. He'll look forward to 2022 with great confidence with his side. They got to the finals after finishing second last last year and missing out. But no doubt this campaign will be one to build on for the Northern Vikings under Sean Cookson in 2022 when we have another full season of CD Dodd Perth Premier League action. Inside the last minute of this semi-final, it's a mere formality. Kudla, he fires it up. And it goes completely out of the ice rink. And we'll have a face-off with about 43 seconds left on the clock. There you can see on your screen, 43 seconds left. Well, the Vikings season and the Flyers Orange in this semi-final. As the Flyers Orange will go straight through to a grand final. It'll be a Flyers double in the grand final series. The Blues and the Orange will face off in the best of three series beginning next week. Face-off one by Webster. Campbell with the open ice pass towards an open crease. Corey Burton's pulled out of there, but it looks like he can come back inside the goal crease, or will he? 
Referees just deliberating with the players over that. That decision will have ourselves a centre ice face off as a result. Hamilton and Webster. Possibly the last face off of the evening. And Kudlup will take it to the defensive zone. You better watch out. You don't want to concede a turnover when there's an open goal. Especially when Langel's around. The Vikings count their lucky stars there. Good luck. Lines it back up. Hamilton. Back out to Cooper. Cross eyes pass onto the left-hand side. We're down to we're down to 10 seconds now. Langel twisting and turning. He goes towards an open goal. What a great goal, Langel. And that's a double for him. You do not want to risk those turnovers with an open goal when that man's around. And Riley Langel makes it 5-2 and makes the win even more emphatic for the Flyers Orange as we see on the CD dot replay. Comes out of that congested area. They break away under centre ice and Langel, that is like a marksman shot indeed. And that goes to the exposed net to further cement the victory in emphatic style for the Flyers Orange. And it'll be a 5-2 win. And they'll go straight through to the grand final series next week. And it'll instantly be an icing call. That was a bizarre way to start a face-off. A couple of players just exchanging a few pleasantries there. That's a bizarre way to end a semi-final. And as I'm being told, an issue with the clock. And that's why we've got this stoppage. And it's now still six seconds on the clock. With the last six seconds of play, that'll be it. They know it's all over. Lodge just threads it out of defensive zone, but there's the buzz up. The Flyers Orange have gained semi-final redemption after being bumbled out last year. This time, they are on the winning side and they will set up a dream grand final next week against the Flyers Blue for the 2021 CD Dodd PPL Championship. The Flyers Orange, simply brilliant at the third. They scored three goals to one alone in that after being in front 2-1 after the first and second periods. It was a magnificent win, all set up by those doubles from Langel and Kelly. And it really caught the Vikings off guard at the first. But the Vikings, they can be proud of their campaign. They finished second last in the condensed 2020 season. But this year, they were able to get some great wins on the board, boosting their confidence. They managed to beat the Blackhawks uh, twice. They beat the champions once as well. So that'll give them a real head of steam heading into next year. But the Flyers Orange, Deserved winners, 5-2, and they will go through to the 2021 Championship Decider, the best of three series between against the Flyers Blue, and that starts next week here at the Perth Ice Arena. No doubt that'll be a great grand final series, make no mistake about it. And we'll take you now to the CD Dot highlights to wrap things up. The way the Flyers Orange were able to consolidate that momentum in the final period when the game was still in the balance is a testament to their depth and how they, they are led by the... What, what, what we're going to call the superwoman of the CD Dodd Perth Premier League. An amazing coach, great lead up, Michaela Fellows, has uh, led this side very well in what could potentially be a championship winning side in 2021. The Vikings, they were valiant in the first 40 minutes of game time, but they just could not sustain it in the final uh, 15, 20 minutes in the final period, especially with Natman, uh, Pifa and Moffat running a little bit flat in the defensive zone in the final period. And that led the way for a three goals to one onslaught in the third period alone for the Flyers Orange. So the decider has been set. It'll be the Flyers Blue up against the Flyers Orange. The clash of the best two teams in the CD Dodd Perth Premier League in the grand final series. And just a reminder, the first game is right here at the Perth Ice Arena next Friday night. And then game two will be at the Coburn Ice Arena. Then, if necessary, on the 1st of October, the third and deciding game of the Grand Final Series will be at the Coburn Ice Arena again on Friday, October 1st. And 
another big Saturday of Front Row Screens, a sport coming your way on FRS Sport. We've got the WAFL qualifying final, and what a game this one is going to be. South Fremantle, the reigning premiers, up against last year's runners-up, Claremont. You'll hear the call from the best team in 2021, the Front Row Screens team. So make sure you're tuning in from half past two. It is going to be an absolute beauty to kick off one of the most open and eagerly anticipated WAFL final series. And also, once again, a massive congratulations to the Melbourne Footy Club, too, on taking their first play, uh, first AFL grand final spot in 21 years. But here tonight at the Perth Ice Arena, the semi-finals all ended in dominant wins for the Flyers Blue over the Sharks 6-1 earlier tonight. And then the Flyers orange big winners over the Vikings to make it a dream grand final between the top two. On behalf of Julia, Matt, Ryan and all the Front Row Screens team, this is Paul Persick wishing you a very good evening from the Perth Ice Arena. And we look forward to your company tomorrow at 2.30 for the qualifying final from Fremantle Over. We'll see you then.